All right, so we have some really exciting news to share with everyone. We haven't been on here in a long time. We basically took the summer off and just kind of focused on building the cabin and just spending time as a family and getting through some difficult things that we had to get through as a family. If you see our other channel, you'd know we had a couple miscarriages over the summer and one of them turned out really bad. It was a two old pregnancy. So the baby was located in my tubes and it was just not good. Anyway, we're past that and moving on, staying focused on getting the cabin done. And we also have decided we're gonna start fostering kitties. So our local area has uh, a fostering program where they get stray cats or abandoned cats, where they get them, they foster them. And then once the kitties are healthy enough and old enough, they are able to send them to forever homes. So we already have three cats of our own. And so now what we were thinking is we would just foster and we would be where they could come, a safe place to get them healthy, get them back on their feet, little kitties, or get them old enough to go to their forever home. So we're super excited about this. We really, really love cats. We are like major cat people, love them to death. So we're so excited to have little tiny babies. We've never had babies this young. Uh, it's really exciting though. We're gonna have probably all different ages. We'll get some older cats, some younger cats, some brand new baby cats. And we just picked up our first two yesterday. So they are about five weeks old. They're absolutely adorable. Now, we're just trying to capture their four siblings and their mother. So if we can get all them, they're gonna come here as well. We're gonna wean them away from their mother. Well, she's not here right now. So we've had to teach the babies how to eat. Uh, regular cat food they're doing really good they seem to love the wet food but they're also doing really good eating the dry food they're drinking lots they're super social they're purring and licking us and it's really adorable but if we can get their mother here to comfort them we're definitely gonna do that and then she's gonna go in and get fixed before she finds her forever home so that way she can't have more babies so we just kind of stop the cycle of more babies out on the street and Sam has named them. We don't know the gender yet because they're pretty young and it's pretty hard to tell. So Sam named them Cuddles and Kitten. So right now you see they're in this tiny little crate. I do have a much bigger crate which they're gonna be moved into as they get a little bigger and a little more comfortable or as their siblings arrive. So this isn't the biggest crate in the world. It's just like a pop-up crate and it's just, I want them to be comfortable and I want them to feel safe. So I don't want them in a huge area all at one time. Oh look. Spread out, hugging. So just until they're totally comfortable, they're in this little area. I'm going to head out to Walmart right now though and pick up a small scratch post that can be put in here as well. So that gives them a little something to do and then it'll move into their bigger crate with them when they move into that. And once they're fully trained and they're, we know that they're healthy, we'll be able to let them out and run around and meet our cats and stuff like that. But for now, they kind of just need to hang out in their own little spot and be crated that way they can't hop like pretty much every room in the house has lots of places that they could hide so we just don't want them getting lost getting stuck or if we need to take them to an appointment you know they're hiding and we have to try and find them so it's just a lot safer right now to keep them where they are in 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 a caged area with toys they got one little toy here I got lots more I just didn't want to put any in yet I got some balls and stuff I just didn't want them to be scared at first with anything that makes noises so <clears throat> kind of just letting them get comfortable being in our house and then we'll add things as the days go on. Right babies? Hello. Hello babies. Hello dollies. So this morning I went and picked up one of their other brothers. So well, they think it's a boy again. So now we have a total of three kittens in our care and they're all siblings. There's three more that need to be captured and then brought here to our house as well. This little baby, I'll show him to you right now, but he was very scared and he really wanted to be with his siblings. He was just crying a lot. And as soon as he got with them, he's been so happy. Hello babies. So the black and white one is the newest one that came in this morning. And like I said, there's three more that we need to find and bring them here. They're cuddly little babies. There's some happy and there's some good. I need to give them some more food. So this is their setup for now. They got a tree to play in. 
A couple of toys, their litter in the far corner, food and water right here. I'm gonna add some more food in there for them. We just we just give them uh, dry food all day and I give them wet food twice a day, morning and night. Hi babies. So this one here is Kitten. That one's Shadow and that one behind there is Cuddles. Hi Dolly. Hi Dolly. Over here I have their little setup so I got some wet naps here to clean their cage first. I got over there like a little broom. So I'll take all the stuff out first thing in the morning, sweep it all, wipe it down with a wet nap, and then throw it in the garbage, and then empty their litter a couple times a day, because it's a very small litter thing, and empty it into here, and I got a bunch of fresh litter there for them. Over here I have the pop-up tent, so I can put them in that, or I can just let them run free. I started to block off areas where I thought they might hide, so I thought they could get under here, under here, over there I shoved a pillow. Anywhere I thought that they could possibly get in to hide, I hid it up. I kind of hid and packed from them. They can hopefully just come out and play, but not get trapped into like any small spaces. I've got the closet over on one side behind me and the door is closed there. They can't climb up on the furniture or anything yet. They're too little, but they could go under it. So we'll just let them kind of play and enjoy. Look at the hand that didn't even have any stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Some more? There you go. Mm. Yummy, isn't it? <laughs> the gray one's on it. Okay, we'll share. This little one lets him. There. Can you look at it? We cannot get some. <laughs> okay. Lick it off each other. Or lick yeah. it off me, maybe. Mm -hmm. Get some. Yeah, he's licking my leg. I must have dropped some. They're licking my fingers because it's just like, oh, hey, don't bite my finger. <laughs> it's like you're still hungry. I want to bite your finger. <laughs> Stop biting. Oh, 
I'm surrounded by kitties. It's a good way to get them to trust us. Treats. That's you, Shadow. You're the scared one. <laughs> These guys are just like sweet treats. Mm -hmm. The gray ones are already coming around. It's just like, give me the treat for them. <laughs> you still on me. You look it up. Now you're just licking my pants. For no reason. Somebody <laughs> got on them. <laughs> Give me up. <sighs> Look at the camera. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Watch this. Hello. Hmm? <laughs> Paw five. Yay. <laughs> hey, baby. Hello. Hello, mister. Hello, that new kitty. Got you. Yeah, they was hungry. Yeah, they were. Cutie. He likes it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Clean yourself up. Oh, oh you too. Clean ball. yourself up. You guys are all dirty. Let them clean themselves up, Sam. Getting clean. Need that for me then. Go down there, freshen up. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a snacky. Got a little bath. Oh, still bath. Yeah, tea time. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see behind me, they're doing really well and very comfortable. So I'm going to continue enjoying them and wait for the call to go pick up their siblings, like I said, as they come around. And I'm going to try and show them to you at least once a week as they grow and get big and strong. And they will be rehomed when they're about 10 weeks old. That's when they're available to be adopted. So we'll have them for at least five weeks. And then they'll make perfect little pets. They're going to be well socialized. So Sam's in here all the time. She's had friends over playing with them. And Jeremy and I are in here with them. And they're just absolutely adorable. Such a joy to our lives, that's for sure. See you in the next one.